I've got the Samsung Galaxy S25 and I'll be showing you how to set it up by transferring all your data from an old Samsung phone. Now for this tutorial, the old Samsung phone we'll be using is this S24 Ultra. And so we're going to be transferring all our data into the S25 Ultra. This could be any old Samsung phone, right? So it's next to this one and I've just turned it on. So what you want to do is tap on start button. Let's start the process. So of course you have the end user license agreement and privacy policy, and then you can tap on uh, agree. And then it's going to ask you if you want to do an easy setup with another device. And automatically your older Samsung phone has detected this. And so what you want to do is tap on setup on your old Samsung phone. So it's going to attempt to connect. And then now a QR code will appear on your new phone and a scanner on your old phone. And so you want to use the old phone to scan the QR code on the new phone. And then it's going to ask for your old phone's uh, password. So I'll just enter my password here to verify it's me. And it's going to take the Wi-Fi information from this phone into this phone. It's very simple and very seamless. So it's getting my phone ready, as you can see. It's already connected to Wi-Fi. Now it's checking info. Signing me up for everything. So it's going to ask me to connect to a mobile network. So essentially I have an eSIM here and I should be able to use this process to transfer the eSIM to this phone. But my carrier does not allow that. So I'm going to choose setup later in settings. Now, if your carrier allows it, then you can just go ahead. So it says copy data from your Android device. I'm just going to go and tap on next and then the transfer data uh, terms and conditions. Tap on agree. Smart switch uses these permissions. So all these permissions will be needed by smart switch. So I'll just tap on allow and then choose whether you want to transfer your data wirelessly or via a cable. Now, wirelessly is convenient, but if you have a cable, you might want to use a cable because cable is always faster than wireless. And since I have a type C to type C cable here, I'm going to use that. Now keep in mind that you can use wireless if you want. All right. So I'm just going to connect like that. And then I'll choose cable. And then it's going to tell me to connect. And then on this older phone, I'll say send from this phone. Okay. And my data is going to be sent to this phone. There you go. So the connection has begun. So it says connect to talk to S25 Ultra to transfer your data. So I'll just tap on connect here and the data transfer has begun. So it's going to start scanning and then it's going to transfer the data. It's a very, very simple and seamless process. And since this is a Samsung phone, all the data is going to come here. So it's, it's telling me to choose whether I want to transfer everything, which is 18.77 gigs or just calls, contacts and messages, or I can go to custom and choose specific things. Now I want to transfer everything. So I'm just going to select everything and then tap on next. It's going to ask me to back up my messaging app data. So you have Viber and WhatsApp you can transfer that as well. And the transfer has begun. So during this process, it's important not to disconnect their cable under any circumstances because it might even cause uh, the corrupted data. So just be patient and wait. So once the transfer is complete, oh, it's still transferring. So it wants me to set up my uh, biometrics, which I'll do later. So I'll just tap on skip. Then you have the Google services already signed me in. So accept, turn back up on. Then you have Gemini, which you can uh, set up 
right now or later it's good i'll just up no thanks so i can set that up later then you have galaxy ai all that stuff basically the setup process then you have bixby Samsung services, tap on more and then agree. And it says I'm all set up. Okay, so I can now tap on the home button. And as you can see, all my apps that were on the previous phone are now getting installed on this phone. So it might take a while, so just be patient. Uh, you can see it still says transferring. Until it's done, it's gonna let me know it's done. But as, as for this phone, I can continue using it. It's still going to continue tra uh, transferring data, especially if I'm using wireless transfer. Okay. I can actually continue using this phone. Some of the features are usable at this point, as long as you don't get too far away from this phone so that you break the connection. All right. But if you're using cable, just be patient and allow this process to finish up. All right. So I'm just going to keep that screen on. And that's basically how to transfer data from your old samsung phone to your galaxy s25 or s25 ultra thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section and i will get back to you there or in the next one good luck